Hi, Akil here from Inside Scan, and today's video I'll be discussing what resources I'd recommend for medicine interview preparation. And for those who don't know me, my name is Akil. I'm a first year medical student from Northern Ireland studying at King's College Medical School. So basically today's video will be part of a series on the various resources I'd recommend um, for you guys to use in the run up to your medical school interviews. And before I begin, I just want to apologize for not posting many videos recently. Since I've got to King's, it's been really quite busy. Medicine has been a really big step up from A-level. So I have been pretty much preoccupied with that. But hopefully in the next few weeks, I'll be posting some more videos on um, interview tips and how you can nail your interview. So why am I recommending you know, podcasts, books, and TV programs related to medicine for your interview preparation? Well, it's really for two reasons. Firstly, by reading books, listening to podcasts, and watching TV programs related to medicine, it allows you to develop a much more rounded view on the big issues in medicine, as well as letting you have an insight on what life as a doctor actually entails. So it means that at interview, you can substantiate and justify your points by saying, you know, by reading X book, I was, or listening to Y podcast, I was able to get a much more um, of an idea of blah, blah, blah. It just adds a bit more credence and credibility, I should say, a bit more credibility to your points. Secondly, by using these different resources, it will show to the interviewer that you have a genuine interest in medicine, so much so you've given up free time to read, listen and watch these resources. And, you know, at the end of the day, that is really what the interviewers are looking for. They're really trying to see if you have that genuine interest and passion to study medicine and make the most out of the degree, because it is a very difficult and it's a long degree to undertake. So they want to see that they're getting the best sort of candidates who really want to be there. So, so yeah, today's video will be just really on the podcast I recommend. And I really would recommend using podcasts for interview preparation, just because it's such an easy and passive thing to do. You can literally just stick on a podcast on your phone while you're walking the dog or doing some chores around the house. And one thing to really remember is don't expect yourself to remember every single detail from the podcast. You know, the stuff which genuinely interests you will stick naturally. So don't feel that you have to uh, listen with your full, complete concentration every time. But it wouldn't be a bad thing, you know, in the run up to your um, interview or during your dedicated interview prep time, it wouldn't hurt to just jot down a few ideas um, or thoughts you have um, for possible points of discussion um, at the interview itself. Um, so some of the podcasts I recommend um, and listen to uh, were uh, very much medically orientated, but um, there also were other podcasts which didn't have like a necessarily medical sort of emphasis, but they had different, you know, episodes where they did have a bit of a medical emphasis, if that makes sense. So some of the podcasts I listened to uh, were from the British Medical Journal or the BMJ for short. And for those who don't know, the BMJ is a really high impact research journal and their podcasts sort of translate that level of research, that high level of impactful research to a much wider audience, not just to medics and healthcare professionals, but to, to the general public. The Sharp Scratch podcast is aimed at students and newly qualified doctors, and this is a particularly easy one to listen to. More or Less from the BBC is a really good podcast. It's a topical podcast, so it will usually discuss various health issues. So basically they just um, discuss and look at the statistics uh, which come up in the news and then try to dive deeper to explain why, they, why do they use this graph or how can this data be manipulated or why are they using this particular model? And they look at the different parameters and why these stats were used. And because it's quite topical, there've been a lot of ones recently about COVID and vaccine research. Um, and um, I think a bit about the furlough scheme as well. So I definitely have a look into that. And it's also similar to BMJ. Um, it's not just targeted to statisticians or mathematicians, but it's designed for the wider public and um, for a normal lay person. So this is a really good idea to, uh, it's a really good um, podcast, sorry, to, to look into, um, just to have that bit more of an idea and awareness of statistics, um, because there is a lot of medicine which revolves around it. A lot of research is revolved around statistics and modeling. So it's a really good way to just get your head um, around the sort of models and statistics that they use in science. Um, many of you may have heard of Stephen Dubner's Freakonomics book, Stephen Dubner and um, 
Steve Levitt, I think. Um, they're Freakonomics book, basically. And um, they've now got a podcast series based on it. And his podcast, uh, Stephen Dubner's Freakonomics podcast, are usually quite topical. And they always have an interesting take on things. They look and uh, take on things and they usually have a look, you know, at the sort of different views at um, various topics. Um, there's always normally some podcast in healthcare, um, either focusing on the US or globally. And I find the Freakonomics podcast quite interesting. It's not primarily primarily designed for you know economists or sociologists or um, medics um, like the others. It, it, it sort of sort of is able to look at the bigger picture and see the impact of healthcare on society um, and the impact of these various issues on society as a whole I, and i really really enjoy listening to it um so be sure to check it out and even check out the other uh, podcasts they have not necessarily related to uh, to um medicine but the other ones on economics and uh, society sociology it's, it's they're all very very good big picture of medicine is an interview series and um i really recommend that as well Basically, um, it's an interview series about top high-level doctors who are changing the future of medicine, especially within medical technology. And this is a really big developing field of medicine, so um, it's a really good um, podcast to listen to and bring up an interview. Inside Health is another BBC podcast um, which discusses health-related topics in the news every week. And I find it's a really uh, useful um, podcast to listen to if you want to keep on top of the hot topics in the news um, as well. Um, the Queen's University of Belfast has also released a podcast series called The History of the Pandemics, or History of Pandemics, I think. As the title suggests, it discusses the history of pandemics. And it's fascinating, I think, especially to see, especially, well, especially now, how history is sort of repeating itself. And I also quite like it because it discusses responses by different civilizations to different pandemics and you can and it's quite interesting because they look at different civilizations you may not have necessarily studied in school um i found it really interesting and um, i really recommend it uh, as well particularly now given we're in a pandemic um as it is uh, given we're in a pandemic now um but yeah so uh th this is just a flavor of the different podcasts out there there's plenty more um, so don't confine yourself to this list I've just given you. And I'll drop down links to these different podcasts below into the video description. Uh, thank you very much for listening. And uh, please uh, keep an eye out for the other videos I'll be um, uh, posting on Interview Prep. And please um, like, share and subscribe to the channel and follow at the Inside Scan um, on Twitter and Instagram. Um, very best of luck with your application and I look forward to the next video.